you can't fathom the power and strength and stamina uh, of these bluefin tuna. It's just a whole new world. Like anything else, you gotta come prepared. Again, my whole spearfishing is smaller fish. There's not that much they can do. This is a whole different world. It was just absolutely an epic adventure. It was a really eventful first day. You know, I'm used to spear fishing and we've done all the striper things and Montauk, some pretty big fish and you know, the Bahamas for a grouper and this was a whole new world. I mean, these fish, you can't fathom how powerful they are. You can't fathom how fast they are in the water. You know, when we're chumming them up, you think, oh yeah, I can track the gun on them. No chance. Uh, the speed and power was amazing. And this one, borderline a miracle. We made a great first shot, actually got a second one in. He ran after that and then the sheer power of these things just started pulling things loose. Line got latched on the other line and was almost totally gone. Khan literally caught it as it's going over the edge of the boat, got the last six inches, managed to hold on with a hand wrap and hanging onto the boat, <laughs> managed not to drown. We were able to clip a buoy on there. And at that point I realized like this was just meant to be, it was gonna happen, even though we still probably had an hour of tugging and uh, you know pulling floats from there simply because there's no way that you can get that lucky and then not pull it off. So just absolutely an epic adventure. Going back to the med brings back some memories, but chasing bluefin tuna as opposed to a uh, mullet or whatever else I could find that was, you know, 12 inches or under, which was basically the limits of my capability, a entirely different world, but 
It's awesome to be back. So we already put a really nice fish in the boat. There's definitely some bigger ones out there. How would you like to kind of uh, finish off the next couple days? Well, listen, uh, you know, I, I think just being attached uh, to a fish that big is amazing. We got a, a good one in the boat, but we saw some that would make just an entirely different level even to that. So if you could get something like that, you know, we're probably close to pushing 300 pounds on the one we got. You know, I can't think of anything more intense that I'd like to get done uh, here in Turkey. That, that thing could have been a total disaster, but I, I got lucky, just totally stoned it. Uh, it. It ran, you know, 100 yards and basically rolled over and died. Didn't even need the, it was the only tuna that didn't need the follow-up shot this whole week. So uh, <laughs> if there was one I had to make the stoner on, that was it. So uh, just doing my uh, rough uh, pounds to kilogram, kilogram to pounds conversion. Oh man, it came in probably about 3.30. Uh, just an awesome fish, man. Can't believe we were able to pull that off with a spear gun. Awesome. <laughs> it's one quarter of the smaller fish, yeah. That's, uh, that's gonna eat good. All right, there we have it. It is. Excellent. Any listen? Will they catch some water? Just my arm. I gotta go on low so I don't break off the rise. Dave, so how did you contract monkeypox, anyways? Well, uh, <laughs> I had the bunk with Don about a week ago. Started to itch a little bit. I'm going to the hospital. <laughs>